Hi guys, I am Nikki Philippi. We are hanging out today here at the City Center Plaza. And be sure to check out and subscribe to Miss Little Chef 1011. And yeah, have a good day guys. Hey guys, Miss Little Chef 1011 here. Today I'm going to be making my delicious black bean soup for Yitzi 72. So, for the ingredients, I'm going to be using salsa. I'm using two kinds here. This is the uh, thick and chunky. This one's the Goya medium salsa verde. I'm going to be using Goya black beans. I have some sour cream for the topping. I have some consomme, which is just like bouillon. It's the same thing. I have a diced yellow onion and two tiny minced jalapenos from my garden. I have a two quarts of water here, just waiting to, in two different separate containers. Some oil, I'm just using grapeseed because it gets to a pretty high burning point. You don't really need any specific kind. Cubes of chopped cilantro from the frozen section. You can also use fresh back there. My favorite brand, Sochelle, and some garlic. Cumin, pepper, and then I have some more black beans for backup. Okay, so let's begin. Just going to dump in my onions and jalapeno. Be careful when handling jalapenos. They are crazy spicy. Eyes or touch your face, you're gonna get a really bad burning sensation, so don't even go there. I'm saving you a trip to the emergency room. I'm just kidding. But really, it's very, very dangerous. You don't want to touch your eyes if you are touching jalapeno. We're gonna add some garlic to the party. I'm just using my little garlic press to get it perfectly mushed and really fine. And I'm just using my little wooden spoon or spatula to get it off. Okay, we'll put that in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna stir that in so that the garlic doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. That would really not be good. So you wanna stir it all in. I also add some oil at the bottom of the pan, by the way. Now I'm gonna use my chopped cilantro. This is just a good brand of frozen um, herbs and I know that you guys probably don't want to hear this but these frozen herbs are pretty good now I'm gonna use a couple cubes you can kind of see how you like the flavor of it and then add more it's not the same as those squeezy tubes of herbs I would not recommend those but this actually does have a nice cilantro flavor my dad does not like cilantro so if we keep it around the house it will probably not get used that's why the frozen version it's perfect because it will stay a lot longer in the freezer, so we don't have to use it so much because my dad doesn't really enjoy it. So, that's why we keep it frozen. Okay, so I use two cubes. It can, you don't need to defrost it or anything, it just goes right in. We are going to let this cook for a little bit until our cilantro cubes unfreeze or defrost. So, I'm gonna be using some ground cumin. And I like putting it in now rather than putting it in when the soup is being made, like the liquid part, because when you put it in now, you can get a good toast on the cumin. So I'm putting in a quite a bit there. As you can see, I'm going a little heavy handed on the cumin because that is one of, these, one of the main flavors of the soup. So, cumin is a great spice. Love it. It has a really good, like, warm quality to it. Almost the same as a cinnamon warm quality. I'm not comparing it to cinnamon in the taste, but in its warmth. I think that's so delicious. It's like so unique and you really need the cumin in this. Now that this is done, I'm going to begin adding my beans. So I have one gigantic can. This is one pound or 0.13 ounces of the, again, Goya black bean. You're not gonna drain these beans. We're gonna use all of the liquids and everything that comes in this can. You don't drain it. Lower your heat. Now it's time for can number two. Let's get up in that one. And again, no draining for this one as well. time for me to add some salsa. I'm gonna do a little bit at first. I'm actually gonna use the rest of this container. I'm going to put some water in this container so that I'm just gonna fill my salsa container up with water. I have about, let's say, a fourth cup of salsa and I'm gonna do a cup of water just right now. So I'm gonna pour my water. That's just to use every bit of it. And I'm actually gonna close the lid and shake it up. 
so that I get every bit of that salsa in this pot. So good. And it's also a way to get extra water. Okay, so that salsa goes in. It was a fourth cup of salsa. You don't really need to do that water bit. Basically, it's a fourth cup of salsa. And now I'm gonna do my salsa verde. So good, shake this stuff up. I'm gonna put in equal parts, so I'm gonna do another fourth cup or so. That looks good. So now I'm going to mix up the soup. Okay, now it's time for the water. I'm gonna add the rest of my four cups and then the other four. So in total, that's a quart, two quarts or eight cups. But you saw in the beginning, I kind of used some of it. Now for our consomme. This basically makes our water into chicken broth. I'm actually gonna measure this. I do measure some things and this happens to be one of the things. So we're gonna do a tablespoon per two cup. So we're doing four tablespoons of consomme, or you could buy the paste version. I know that a lot of people like the bouillon paste. You could do bouillon cubes. I would do two cubes. And you're gonna see a lot of chunks of it at the top. Don't worry about that. It will cook in to the soup and just kind of become one. It will go away. Um, so that's what your soup should look like right now. Nothing much, and it's gonna look very watery. Nothing like you would get at a restaurant. It's gonna be very watery. Um, there's gonna be a ton of this watery brown liquid at the top, and then a bunch of the beans at the bottom. No worries, because we are going to be putting this in through a, um, blender. We're going to use a, an immersion blender or a stick blender. It's a, basically a stick with a little blender at the bottom so you zhuzh it in and pulse it a couple times. It doesn't take long. You'll have your soup very velvety and that's what this extra little can is for. At the end, I like a, I like a little bit of chunkiness to my soup so I'll add this can in to get that chunkiness. But for this, I'm going to fully puree it. Okay, so I'm back to my soup. As you can see, the consomme at the top has kind of dissolved all the way. Our soup is looking really good. And we're gonna now blend it with this Rival Immersion Blender. It has two settings, a high and a low. This is a great piece of equipment to have in the kitchen. It has a blade down there that's not very sharp at all, but it will puree things very, very nicely. So we'll make a bit of noise, put this directly into my pot. Be careful that it doesn't splatter because this is hot. Blend real quick and then now we'll be done. done with our immersion blender. I'm going to give this another whirl with my spatula, my spoon. I'm going to add my third can of beans. This one's a smaller one. It's only 15.5 ounces. And it's just going to be there for the um, texture mainly. It's going to give it a light, nice, chunky texture. So to add to the chunkiness of the soup, I wanted to add a can of tomatoes. Last minute decision, I thought it would just add to the chunkiness. And be a lot less salty than adding extra um, salsa wood. So that is basically it. So that is a complete soup. I'm gonna serve it up, top it off with all of my special toppings, and it will be so divine. Can't wait. Here we go. I'm using a little cup measurement, and I'm gonna put some into the bowl. Okay, so we have our soup there. Oh, I have my chips here and I'm just gonna crush them just a bit and sprinkle that over. Now I'm gonna add a dollop of my sour cream. Get some of that off the spoon there. I'm gonna add a good spoon of my green onion, I'm gonna add a little more, I like them. And some tomatoes. All of my toppings are in there, swirling around that sour cream, getting some of the tomato, the chips, and the green onions, I can't wait. Hmm. Mm. You guys need to try this. So good. Let's set that aside. So for my three favorite words to finish off this video, comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. Tell me if you've tried this. Thumbs up this video and please subscribe. Bye guys.